All right. Uh, we have three books to finish. So now I have to go to the Neverglade. I'm still unsure about Master Felix. I don't know where he is. All right, time to go scanning through all of this area for this prince now. I didn't know if he was here or not. I seem to go back there very often, yeah? Yeah, you're right. Hey, what's up? Are you the prince I'm looking for? Well met, stranger. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Prince of Kanik. Might I be so bold as to surmise that thou art none other than he whom I seek, this Prince of Mittenhall. Aye, there is something noble indeed about thy bearing. Royal blood floweth in thy veins. Of that there can be no doubt. Thou art he, I am certain of it. Hm? Do my ears deceive me? Thou art indeed a prince, but not of the kingdom of Middenhall. Thou hailest from a realm called Dundrasil. Then can it be that this is another false dawn, and I am no closer to succeeding in my quest to join forces with my royal peers? How far have I come? I can scar scarce recall. I have journeyed hither and yon on what has been thus far been an utterly fruitless quest, guided by that eerie, disembodied voice. To think that it would lead me here, to this wretched, never-ending forest. Perhaps I am no adventurer after all. I, it were better had I never left the safety of the castle. My hand is the mark on my hand is glowing. They use the power of the luminary to return him to his world. Yeah. This light. What devilry is this? Wang. <laughs> Okay, we're going back to the castle of Kanik. You know, if I can figure out my way out of this friggin' place. Thank you! Boop. Uh, I don't think it's Tantigal, it's Kanik Castle. It's marvelous indeed to be back in the place I call home. I owe it all to thee, and yet I must not tarry here. I am given to understand that the Prince of Middenhall hath set out upon a great quest, and that I must needs join him without delay. Lo, the Wanderer returneth. Verily thou art a hero indeed. Thou hast delivered my son from danger and returned him unto me. I will never forget what thou hast done for this kingdom. In honor of thy noble deed, pray accept this small token, a treasure that hath graced to the castle vault for countless generations. Tis true that my son hath at times taken a somewhat lackadaisical approach to, approach to life, but nevertheless, the blood of Erdrich, that mightiest of heroes, floweth still in his veins. If not he, then who else can hope to vanquish the High Priest Hargan? I, thou hast rendered a great service, not merely unto my family, but to this world entire. A Kanakian conundrum. Alright. Well, so all that's left is Master Felix, and then the one that I get for our killing Kalasmos. So, let's go see if Master Felix is back. I don't know. If not, I'm gonna have to look up how to get him to come back. Uh, guessing he's back. Wah! Calm down, there's a good kitty. Grrrg. This is a catastrophe. I don't mean to be a scaredy cat, but you've got to help me, please. Thank you so much. If you could just get it to shoe, I'd be internally grateful. Ooh. Easy peasy. The great saber cat slinks off. I owe you big time. I was within a whisker of getting mauled there. I seem to be catnip to that thing. Lately he keeps coming round and growling at me. I'm terrified that one day he's going to pounce. Normally I can get any cat purring in no time, but he's completely feral. He's got all the other kitties terrified. If someone doesn't do something soon, I'm worried they'll all run away. So enough pussyfooting around. You look like you know a thing or two. I was wondering if you might be able to bring me something that might help tame that savage beast. What do you say? Yeah. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Now, I don't believe I've introduced myself properly. My name's Tom, and I serve Master Felix, the owner of this house. 
As you can probably guess, I have a real fondness for felines of all descriptions, and when the cat hasn't got my tongue, I can even talk their language. When that wildcat slinked off, he muttered something's name under his breath. Bianca, was it? Anyway, maybe that might help you in your quest for the thing that will tame him? Bianca. Bianca. Bianca, Bianca, Bianca. The only Bianca I can remember is from Dragon Dragon Age Origins 2. Uh, I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Bianca. Bianca. Back to Briscoletti. Alrighty then. Oh, that's right. There was that there was that girl there that said that her saber cat got lost. Ah uh, You right. Thank you. Bianca is one of the possible wives in Dragon Quest V. Is it just these these three right here? These three girls right here are the three options? Nera. Deborah and Bianca. Someone out there for you too, Harold. Now I wonder where he's got to. What's that? Who am I looking for? Oh, an old pal. Great saber cat. Not that I'm worried. I did find it. What's that? You saw a great saber cat on the rampage at Chateau Felix. That doesn't really sound like him. Mind you, he did go a bit feral after he was separated from my mate for a while. Deborah was new in the DS version. Ah, I see. He even attacked him when he found him again. The Blimmin' Rotter. <clears throat> the Blimmin' Rotter? Rotter? It was only the scent of me ribbon that brought him back to his senses. Hey, I know. Maybe the same trick will work again. Let the saber cat you found have a look and a sniff at this ribbon. If it's him, he'll be all calm again in no time. Cool. And back to Chateau Felix once again. Just going back and forth. Not again. Yes, I did. This is a lovely ribbon, I must say. Well, I'll show it to him and let's see if it works its magic. Grrr. Shows Bianca's ribbon. Sabercat gives it a good long sniff. It looks as if the ribbon has sparked some kind of memory. Meow. The great Sabercat slinks off. What exactly just happened? I can't be sure, but it looks as, looked as if that ribbon jogged his memory. Do you think he might have remembered where his home is? Perhaps that was the reason he was so irritable. He wanted to go home, but he couldn't remember where home was. Well, let's hope that's the end of it. If that saber cat has managed to find its way home, it'll be thanks to you. And you've saved my skin, too. Here, it's the least I can do. Oh, and there's one more thing. When it slinked off, it muttered something under its breath. It sounded like some kind of code word. Let me tell it to you before I forget. There we go. And that gives me access to the Chateau Felix Dusk. All right, We're, that, that's going to be the second to last one. We're making progress. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish everything in two hours, but we're making progress. Boopity boop. Chateau Felix Dusk. So once I finish Dragon Quest, I'm planning to be... So I'm already playing probably Ghost of Tsushima, unless people come in and vote in the next two hours. Uh, but that'll be my Thursday and Sunday game. I'm going to keep playing a different game on Tuesdays, and I'm thinking at the moment that I'm going to play Silent Hill, because I've never played it. And I'm talking like the first Silent Hill game. That's where I'm at right now. Jessica. You really are a marvel, Mother. I promise I'll never wander off on any silly old adventures again. I couldn't bear to be away from you for even a second. Dear me, what in the world has gotten to Jessica? She's being a model daughter. Obedient, pleasant, respectful? It's most disconcerting. 
The Jessica I know is willful, argumentative, and utterly incapable of doing what she's told. I tried to stop her setting out on her little adventure, but she insisted on avenging her brother's death. And now she's some mild-mannered do-gooder all of a sudden. It's odd in the extreme. In fact, it's downright upsetting. How can I get my daughter back? Wait, I'm reminded of something a certain traveling salesman once told me. He said that there were books capable of changing the personality of anyone who read them. I'm sure you visit all sorts of places on your travels. If you happen to find a book that might give me back the daughter I know, I could reward you handsomely. Would you do that for me? Wonderful. I could tell you weren't the type to abandon others in their hour of need. Now, as mentioned, when she's herself, my daughter is energetic, strong-willed, and very active indeed. If you could find a tome that might return her back to that sort of person, I'd be eternally grateful. The salesman I spoke to mentioned the kingdom of Aliahan. Perhaps you might look there. Ah, fuck. Which one's Aliahan? Because I don't think Aliahan is, like, the name of it. It's very strange. Apparently Jessica was happily adventuring with her companions when she suddenly started missing her mother so much that she burst into tears. When we heard, her mother and I hurried to here to see if she was alright. <laughs> Welcome to Chateau Felix. To be honest, I'm still reeling from the shock of seeing Jessica in tears. She was bawling like a child, so I let her curl up here and take a cat nap. In the meantime, I sent a message to her mother to come and pick her up. Anyway, for a change of pace, how would you like to take a personality test that's been handed down through the generations here at Chateau Felix? Am I playing Silent Hill because it's in October or coincidental? A combination of both. I've put it on a poll before, but then I also, like, it's, uh, it is October. I should play a spooky game. I'm like, yeah. Two birds in one stone. I do want to play Silent Hill. I never have. I know it's spooky. It's really famous. So, Silent Hill. All right, we're doing a personality test. I just received your first great pet, pet great saber cat. Do you think Percy will make a good name? Absolutely not. <clears throat> Now for question number two, a doddery old saber cat comes up to you looking to join your party. Would you let him? Yeah! Now it's time for my third and final question. If you were to keep a great saber cat as a pet, you wouldn't be able to relax for a second. You'd always need to stay alert. Would you be happy with that? Sure, why not? Here are the results. I am as gawky and gauche as a great saber cub. You have ideals you try to live by, but you're, you're so impractical that things never seem to go the way you want them to. That's what the test says anyway. Sound much like you? Not really. <laughs> Dragon Quest 3, okay. That would help if I knew which one was Dragon Quest 3. Is... I'm guessing this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is that how that works? So this is 3. Okay, I'm looking for a book. Can you hear the wedding bells already? ask you a question. Looking for books that can change people's personalities. You're a wily one, aren't you? How'd you know? It's true, I have a certain tome I always keep about my person. I swear by it, in fact. But since you were smart enough to sniff out my secret, I'm gonna pass it on to you. Got it. I've never told anyone this before, but the truth is that however courageous my son may be, I'm a natural-born coward. Or at least I was until I read that book. It totally changed my life. One day I was a lily-livered wreck, and the next I was calm, cool, and collected. Well, I say that. Hearing all the horrible stuff they're saying about my boy got me pretty worked up. But all's well that ends well, eh? Alright, well that was easy find. I was, I'm was i glad I didn't have to go through searching through Baramos' castle again for it. That was pretty straightforward. I like that. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Thank you for telling me where Aliahan was. I was honestly thinking there, but I probably would have gone to like three or four other places first <laughs> before I <laughs> before I decided to go there. Alright, I got the book. I spy an improving looking volume in your hands. Might you have found the book that will give me back the daughter I know and occasionally love? Wonderful. Um, and what might the title be, pray tell? The Champion's Code, you say? Well, shall we get Jessica to read it? Yeah. Hmm. Well, she certainly is a champion of sorts. Yes, let's have her take a look, shall we? So, how are you feeling, dear? Quo blimey, mum, what you doing here, eh? If you're worried about me avenging Alistair, don't be. I'm all set to chop whoever got him clean in two with me axe. Who's this bloke you brought with you, anyway? You don't look like much. And what's he got his hair part like Angelo's for? Don't you know that not to take fashion tips off that lemon? <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> this isn't Jessica I know. Hurry up and find the book that will actually restore her to her true self, will you?
Okay, so apparently that's not the correct book. So do I actually have to go back to Baramos's? She's one of the Dragon Quest Eight mains. Ah. Do I have to actually go to Baramos's castle? <laughs> do I actually have to go to Baramos's castle? I don't want to go to Baramos's castle. Talk to Felix again? But who's Felix? Apparently there are other volumes out there that can change people's personalities. I haven't got the foggiest where they might be though. You'll just have to keep your e <laughs> Wow, you're useless. Was I given info from Jessica? I don't think so. Talk to Tom. Tom's probably just going to give me another personality test. Listen, as long as I don't have to go back to that the royal library, I'm happy. Who are you? You, you don't look like much. Wait, well, you got your hair parted like... Okay, it's the exact same thing. Neither of you are useful. Alright, I'm. do I have to go to... Do I actually have to go to Baramos' castle? Mother knows... Knows best to Dragon Quest XI. Thank you. I was told to go to Aliahan, yes. But apparently the book is in Quester's Rest. I'm not I'm not a fan of just going and randomly scrambling and searching books, so I I'm, I'm fine looking that up. We can change the reader's personality. The girl's own annual, okay. You know how long that would have taken me to find if I didn't look it up? <laughs> Nobody has time for that. They're just like, oh, just keep your eyes peeled. Knowing my, knowing me, I would have gone to search the fucking royal library and been angry about it. The champion's code? No, not that one. Girl's own annual, yes. Hmm, Jessica was certainly an active child. Yes, this may well be the sort of book that would appeal to her. Why don't we give it a try? How are you feeling, Jessica? Mother, what are you doing here? Wait, I know. You're here to tell me to stop thinking about avenging Alistair, aren't you? Well, forget it. I'm not giving up and I'm not going home with you and that's the end of it. I will have my revenge. It's my destiny and no one can stop me. Hmm. You're really not going to listen to a word I say, are you? How did you end up being so pig-headed, I wonder? Ha, you're one to talk. When do you ever listen to anything anyone says? Ha, well, well. Hey, what are you laughing at? Yes, there's no doubt about it. This is the Jessica I know. Thank you so much. Here, you've more than earned this. I got a goddess whip. Um, is anyone going to tell me what's going on here? Oh, don't worry about that, dear girl. Here, let me take a good look at you. You're acting like a weird, real weirdo, mother. You do know that, right? I am truly grateful. I was worried my daughter might have been lost to me forever. As to what might explain her sudden change of personality, one of her companions told me it might have been the result of a monster's curse. Be sure not to let it, not to run into the same monster, won't you? Ba -da 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 I'm not used to my mother being this nice. It's unnerving. <laughs> it remind, her character reminds me of the character I play in Dungeons & Dragons. I play like a tiny Tina-esque, rambunctious teenage girl. <laughs> Alright. I think that's everything. The, the only one is the one that requires me to kill Kalasmos, so... <laughs> I guess we're gonna go kill Kalasmos now. Wow. Never thought we'd make it this far.
So I have to decide my Veronica. She can be the Black Cat and the Mega Metal Maniac. She can also be the Metal Maniac, Mega Metal Maniac. And Serena can also be the Metal Maniac, the Mega Metal Maniac. God, there's so many. Now this is the Divine Dancer's costume for her. Sure, why not? We'll go with this. I'm good with these. Alright, uh, I actually wanted to change. I think I want Eric onto daggers. Which is, I believe, the. Where's your dynamo dagger? Dynamo dagger! And then I think the time shear is the second one. Yes, okay. Hendrick with the axe, Silvando. Yeah. Nah, I don't want you on whips. Will I give you sham shears of light? Uh, okay, uh, get rid of this. Uh, heavy one. I think I'm good with all these other weapon lineups. It is time, Kalasmos shall die. Do 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 do.